Namaste, I'm Dr. Tejaswini Manogna wishing you all a very happy International Yoga Day. Yoga is derived from Sanskrit root word yug, which means to unite. It embodies unity between mind and body, thought and action, refrain and fulfillment. It's a harmony between man and nature and a holistic approach towards health and well-being. International Yoga Day. It is celebrated for global health, harmony and peace. It is celebrated to spread awareness and adopt yoga into one's own lifestyle by discussing its benefits. National Yoga Day protocol includes a full body warm up with movements of neck, shoulders, trunk and knees followed by asanas in standing, sitting, prone and sleeping postures followed by pranayama. Surya Namaskara or Sun Salutation is a sequence of 12 powerful yoga poses. Besides being a great cardiovascular workout, Surya Namaskara is also known to have immensely positive impact on body and mind. Besides good health, Surya Namaskara also provides an opportunity to express gratitude to the sun for sustaining life on the planet. Tadasana Tadasana brings stability in the body, helps clear congestion of spinal nerves, corrects faulty postures and helps increase height. Rukshasana improves neuromuscular coordination, brings balance, endurance and alertness. It tones muscles and rejuvenates the ligaments. Padahastasana makes spine flexible, improves digestion, prevents constipation and menstrual problems. Ardha Chandrasana makes spine flexible, strengthens the spinal nerves. It strengthens the neck muscles, improves breathing and helps in cervical spondylitis. Trikonasana prevents flat foot, strengthens the calf, thigh muscles and waist muscles. It makes the spine flexible and improves lung capacity. Sitting 
Bhadrasanas. Bhadrasana, it reduces the knee pain, releases abdomen tension and pain, and relieves menstrual problems. Vajrasana strengthens thigh and calf muscles. It is good for digestion, provides a firm base to spine, and keeps the spine erect. Ushtrasana is useful in defective eyesight, relieves back pain and neck pain, reduces fat over the abdomen and hips, and it helps in digestion. Sashankasana relieves stress and anger. It tones the reproductive organs, relieves constipation, increases digestion and relieves back pain. Asana helps in back pain and cervical pain. It increases the diaphragmatic movement and increases the lung capacity. Increases flexibility of the spine. It helps in overcoming constipation and dyspepsia and stimulates the pancreas in the management of diabetes. Prone Postures Makarasana promotes relaxation of lower back, helps recover from back problems it is indicated for all orthopedic ailments and indicated to counter stress and anxiety. Bhujangasana is helpful in management of stress. It relieves abdominal fat, it relieves constipation, relieves back pain and bronchial problems. Asana decreases sciatic and lower backache. It tones the hip muscles and the kidney region. It decreases the fat on thighs and buttocks. And it helps in weight loss and abdominal organ congestion. Supine postures. Setu Bandhasana relieves depression and anxiety. It strengthens the lower back, strengthens the abdominal organs, improves digestion and relieves constipation. Uttana Padahastasana balances the navel at the center, builds abdominal muscles, relieves nervousness and anxiety and improves breathing and lung capacities. Arthahalasana relieves from dyspepsia, constipation, diabetes, piles, throat problems and hypertension. Pavanamuktasana relieves constipation 
constipation, relieves flatulence and bloating and improves digestion. It tones the back and spine and massages the internal organs. Savasana relieves tension and gives rest to body and mind. It relaxes the psychophysiological system and relieves from stress. a few advanced yoga asanas which have to be presented under the guidance of yoga gurus. One can attempt to present these asanas after years of practice of basic yogic postures. Conscious awareness of breath, the life force that both energizes and relaxes the body. The term pranayama is derived from the Sanskrit word prana meaning life force and ayama meaning extension. Pranayama is an integral part of yoga. The controlled breathing enables both the rhythm of performing yogic poses and relaxing the mind for meditation.
International Yoga Day was declared unanimously by the United Nations General Assembly and Prime Minister of India declared 21st June as International Yoga Day as it is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and sharing a special significance in various parts of the world. Yoga is a light which when once lit will never dim. The better you practice, the brighter the flame. It is believed that practicing yoga is believed to give significant relief from physical ailments, mental stress and giving you peace of mind and helping you attain self-awareness which I think is very important to lead a stress-free life. Wish you all a very happy International Yoga Day, blessed with health, harmony and peace. Namaste.